I'm here at the Grob UK Open House and we're going to talk about Grob's Net for Industry software. Now, Tobias, can you talk us through what this software does and how it works? Of course. So, hi everybody. Uh, today I'd like to show you some examples of our cloud-based software. For this, we will log in now to our Grob Live system. In this page now you can see all our connected machines within the organization structure of Grobe. For example, we have machines at Grobe Germany, Grobe USA, Grobe China. And then we have different app applications. The first application is our Grobe for Line app. It's the life status of the machine. So I can choose it here now, Grobe for Line. We choose one machine, for example, one of our Grobe machines. Here you can see now the live status from Mindelheim. So green means the machine is in automatic mode. In the last 60 minutes, we had here idle time. Afterwards, we have perfect production. As well, we can see some part information, running time of the NC program and the axis and override values. And I really like how this is in real time. You can actually see the axis moving from the system. Correct. And if there's an alarm, you will get a notification about the smartphone. So I show you here. When there's an alarm, you will get the notification like a WhatsApp message. And if you want, you can cancel the alarm and restart the machine from your television. So that's great. <laughs> you don't actually have to go into the workshop to find the machine. If you know yeah. it's safe to cancel the alarm, you can do it just off your phone. Of course, yeah. And it supports your manless shift for example, on weekends. And that's great because if somebody's, if, if you've gone home and a machine stops, you can restart it from home. Perfect. Perfect. Who doesn't yeah. want that? Uh. <laughs> now, obviously, this is the, the Grob for Line. So talk us through the Grob for Analyst side of this software. Yeah. So Grob for La Analyze uses the same uh, data points, but it's a historical analysis of the machine status. For example, I closed first uh, the Grob for Line app. If I'm responsible for Grobe Germany and responsible, for example, for hall number seven, I can go to this three dots, do an aggregated status compersion, and then I get an overview of what happened in the last 24 hours, or I can also choose the last 30 days, last seven days, whatever you want. So what's the advantages of a customer having this software? Yeah. So now you can analyze your production time. So 53% in automatic mode. And there was a disturbance time of 82% and 37 time idle mode. So machine was ready to produce parts, but there was no production. On our facility, we have, have a look with our continuous improvement department to decrease uh, this value from the idle time. So I can click now inside, see the machines, and for example, I can go to this machine, see exactly what happened yesterday at 6 p.m. So for example, there was production, and there was only one alarm message that the uh, door was not closed. <laughs> You can see as well the duration time from the tools. Here you see exactly the NC code. You can see as well the NC program, override values, and there's another column which, which is called non-machining times. So our operators has to declare the idle times. For example, I use this one now, click inside. You see the start and the end time. So it's in total 23 minutes. And then he has to select what was the reason for this idle time. For example, there was a missing tool or some, something else happens. Then I can save the data. And our continuous improvement department has now um, the all overview of uh, what happened uh, within this machine. Yeah. So, uh, so if you get the same missing tool error at six o'clock every day, you can then come into the machine room and why is that machine missing a tool the same time every day? Absolutely right. 
Yeah. And then obviously you can fix that problem to give you more production and make you more cost effective. Now, we've, we've spoke about the grub for line and the grub for, for analyst section. Talk us through one more section of this software before we before we finish, because we don't want to let we don't want to show people everything, right. but we want to give them one more little taste right. of this yeah. software. So, so what else can we talk about? Now you get a big picture. We have also a condition monitoring system. It's called Grow for Track. With this system, we monitor all our access. You can see here an overview of some example machines. So green means every access is okay. Yellow. There is a change, change from some values, and red means there's some access not okay anymore. If I click inside now, you can see here exactly the access which is not okay. In this case, it's a C2 access, it's a ball screw drive. And if you like to analyze what happened, you can go inside, you can see the different trace files. In this case, it was red. So now I select another trace file with, uh, with the color yellow. We have two encoder systems, one encoder at the motor and the glass scale. So now you can see we start the axis moving, stop the axis and moving backwards. And in this area, there's a mechanical damage. Our algorithm can tell you exactly with, yeah, with the values, the ball screw drive is not okay anymore. So essentially with this bit of software you can do preventive maintenance because before your machine gets into the red, as soon as it hits you, what's wrong, we need to fix this. Yeah, right. It tells you exactly now, color yellow, please uh, prepare a spare part to exchange the access. And also that must be a lot more, again, cost effective to the customer because they're not trying to diagnose the problem themselves, it's all on the software for them. Yeah. They can find it straight away. Yeah, and you will get a notification as well. So when the value changes, you will have an email or a push-up message, uh, which tells you on machine number five there's a problem. Well, Tobias, thank you very much for your insight on this software, and it's great to see that Grob aren't just looking out for the machine, but they're also looking out for the customer to keep them more cost-effective and keep the machines running. So thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.